Merry Christmas, and welcome to the Christmas Experience hosted by Trinity Assembly of God. Now enjoy your journey to Bethlehem. Hi, everybody. My name is Fluffy the Sheep because I'm so soft and fluffy, and I'm so excited to tell you my most favorite Christmas story. It all began with a visit from an angel. One day, a long time ago, a young girl named Mary was outside doing her chores, when suddenly a bright light started shining all around her. It was so bright, Mary had to cover her eyes. And then an angel named Gabriel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. You're so special to God, so special that he picked you to be the mother of his son. You're going to have a baby named Jesus. He will be the greatest king ever, and best of all, he will save people from their sins. Mary was so excited, but she was also a little nervous and confused. So she asked the angel, wait, how can I have a baby? I'm not even married. And Gabriel said, Mary, your baby is going to be a miracle from God that will grow inside you. It's going to happen this way because God wants the world to know that Jesus is his son. Mary could feel God's presence all around her. And although she was still a little nervous, she knelt down and said, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. Then, as suddenly as he appeared, the angel was gone. That is how the journey to Bethlehem began. Okay, who can remember the name of the angel that came to visit Mary? If you said Gabriel, you're one smart sheep. On the count of three, everyone say, I'm one smart sheep. One, two, three. I heard that, get it, heard. Oh, I've got another question for you. Are you ready? What did the angel Gabriel say to Mary? If you said you're going to have a baby, you're right. On the count of three, everybody say the baby's name. One, two, three. Yep, baby Jesus. I was a baby once and so were you. But who would have ever expected great big God to come into the world as a little bitty baby? You're going to see him at the end of our journey together. Oh yeah, this story kind of wandered off the path there. Sheep do that sometimes. After the angel left, Mary thought, I've got to tell everybody the good news. That's when things got kind of wooly. That's what my mom says when things get rough. You see, Mary was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. Joseph was a carpenter and a good man, and he really loved Mary a lot. But when Mary told Joseph and her parents, guess what? This is really by light my room. I saw an angel, and he told me I'm going to have a baby, and he's going to be the son of God. I'm supposed to name him Jesus. Well, let's just say they weren't exactly excited. They were shocked, actually. They had a hard time believing her, even though Mary had always told the truth. Her parents and Joseph eventually came around. It helped when an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Joseph, Mary is telling the truth. She's going to be the mother of the Son of God. Go ahead and marry her like you planned. He did. As the months passed, Joseph and Mary started getting excited. Who wouldn't? For hundreds of years, Joseph and Mary's people, known as the Jews, were told of a great king who would come to deliver them from their enemies. 
Every day as she waited for her special baby to be born, Mary was amazed that out of all of the women in the world, God chose her to be the mother of his son. As you continue your journey, look for the scene number and name and play the corresponding audio track for that scene. During the journey, beggars and street merchants may come up asking for money. Please feel no obligation to give. However, all money collected will go to More Grace Outreach, a local nonprofit that provides food and clothing to approximately 500 families per month in the greater Marion County area. Thank you for your generosity. And now, the journey continues. Please pause your audio at this time until the parking attendant releases you to continue on. Scene 2, Joseph and Mary's Journey Hello again everyone, it's me, your favorite sheep storyteller, Fluffy! Okay, are you ready to go to Bethlehem? Joseph and Mary weren't. When it was almost time for Mary to have her baby, a Roman emperor named Caesar Augustus made everyone travel to the town they were born in to pay taxes. For Joseph and Mary, that meant a 90-mile journey to Bethlehem through a scary desert known for wild animals and robbers. Poor Mary had to ride on the back of a bouncy donkey with a baby kicking around inside her belly for three days. Baby Jesus was probably thinking, hey, let me out of here. And Mary was probably thinking, this is the longest trip ever. Joseph did everything he could to try and help her be comfortable. Finally, they arrived outside of Bethlehem and stopped to eat and rest. Scene three, the city gates. At the city gates, Joseph and Mary were met by Roman soldiers. The soldiers weren't very nice. They looked and talked mean and pushed people around like sheep. Push someone in your car and say in your best soldier voice, hey you, move along. My shepherd is much nicer than that. Speaking of shepherds, Bethlehem is the home of David, the brave shepherd boy who defeated the giant Goliath with just a stone and a sling. David was one of Israel's greatest kings, but that was a long time ago. Years later, Israel's kings turned their backs on God. Now the Romans are in charge, and people like Joseph and Mary have to pay taxes to live in what used to be their land. Lots of people are poor, sick, hungry, and mistreated. But they are praying that someday soon, the Messiah will come to help them. If they only knew, he's going to be born in Bethlehem tonight. Scene four, the marketplace. Bethlehem is one busy place. Look at all the people. Store owners selling things, beggars and thieves, children and animals running around everywhere. Hey, do you see any chickens? After the long journey to Bethlehem, Mary was so tired and uncomfortable. She needed a place to lay down and rest, but with all the people in town, there was no place to stay. Every motel was full. Someone told them to check the village in on the edge of town, but about that time, Mary looked at Joseph and said, we gotta find some place quick. The baby is coming. Scene five. Caesar Augustus. On their way to the inn, Joseph and Mary stopped to pay their taxes at Caesar's palace. Caesar's a big show off that made them take their long journey to Bethlehem just so he could get more money. And he was already rich. On the count of three, everybody say, Boo, Caesar. One, two, three. Wait, I hope 
hope you didn't have your chariot window down. You might get arrested. Oops. Jesus, the best king ever, is about to be born, and Caesar could have helped his mom and dad find a place to stay. Instead, he wanted all the attention. Remember that. Selfish show-offs miss seeing Jesus. Scene 6. The Inn. Oh no! Look at the people everywhere! Before Joseph could even get to the inn, the innkeeper stepped out and said, I'm sorry everyone, but all our rooms are full. Joseph was so worried, but Mary said, It's okay, Joseph. God will take care of us. As Joseph and Mary turned to leave, the innkeeper called out, Wait! I might have something that would work. I have a barn out back where the animals stay, but it's warm, and I can get you some fresh hay and some blankets. We'll take it, Joseph said. Hurry, Joseph, Mary said. Baby Jesus is coming. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet him. Scene 7. The Shepherds and Angels Right around the time Jesus was born, an angel appeared to some shepherds who were watching their sheep on a hill outside of Bethlehem. The angel nearly scared them to death and then announced, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for all people. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly the night sky was filled with light and thousands of angels appeared. They were all praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill to men. When they heard the good news, the shepherds left right away to go find the special baby the angel had told them about. Scene 8. The Nativity Joseph was right by Mary's side the whole time, helping and encouraging her. Suddenly, in the stillness of the night, a baby cried. Joseph and Mary cried too because they were so happy. Mary took baby Jesus, wrapped him up all warm and cozy, and laid him in a manger. Not long after that, the shepherds came and told Joseph and Mary their amazing story about the angel singing to them. They asked if they could see the baby. Then one by one, the shepherds knelt around the manger to worship. Later, wise men from the east came looking for Jesus. They followed a special star that led them right to his house. When they found him, they also bowed down and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When Jesus grew up, someone called him the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Imagine that. Mary had a little lamb. Thanks for coming with me on the journey to Bethlehem. I hope you liked it. Now here's my friend, Pastor Wade. Thanks, Fluffy. Mary's little baby grew up to be a man, a man that never sinned. And that sinless man, the Son of God, gave his life on the cross for you and me. That's the message of Christmas. God sent us all a present, the gift of forgiveness, and the promise that we can go to be with him in heaven someday. You can receive this amazing gift by saying a simple prayer. I invite you to pray and ask Jesus to come into your heart now. Just pray, Jesus, thank you for making the journey from heaven to earth. Thank you for showing me how much God loves me. Please forgive my sins and come into my life. Help me get to know you and put your peace in my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us for a journey to Bethlehem. If you prayed and asked Jesus into your life, 
Congratulations on the most important decision that you will ever make. We would love to celebrate with you. Contact us at area code 304-363-8237 or send us a message on Facebook and let us know. Thank you for being our guest and Merry Christmas. Bye, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>